This video is brought to you by MyPlayerPage.com, the best place for athletes to showcase their information. Visit us today. Randy McKee here of Soccer 605, and we're going to continue on with our uh, story uh, of uh, or our, our saga with uh, uh, Clay Glasgow's uh, soccer story. Uh, we just uh, finished up here and ran out of time last time, so um, we we're when we closed down, though, we were talking about you heading to Yankton, South Dakota. You just had, you just had got the facts in the mail, and you're loading up the car and, yeah. and heading to Yankton. Yeah, yeah um, that was what oh, <clears throat> oh two, um, August of oh two, I recall. Never heard about South Dakota before, <laughs> and um, so you know we 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 get the facts. Um, you know we, I mean it's a full scholarship. So your mind get clouded, everything get clouded, you just, you're excited, you know. You're getting your college paid for, so you're excited. Um, fax everything back and um, book a flight and um, can't, I can't remember if we, if we came to Sioux Falls Airport or Omaha. But what I can tell you, I remember seeing a lot of, a lot of corn, corn trees and soybeans and stuff and I was like, oh, where are we going? Anyhow, um, long story short, we 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 um, we ended up in our, in our room at Mangmadi, Mangmadi College, South Dakota. Um, I remember the next day, the team came up to our room and introduced herself, and they they was like, "Hey, you guys want to see town? You guys, you know, want to know more about?" you know, the school and the town and stuff. So we're like, yeah, sure, we all like, get excited. I remember one of the guys um, saying, let's go to the beach. And I was like, beach? You are probably pretty excited about yeah, that. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I, I get excited about beach. You know, I know a beach would be nice, blue water, sand. And, and then anyhow, we jump in our car and <laughs> he head in and it was Lewis and Clark Lake. I told him, don't ever use that word beach again. <laughs> <laughs> like you don't ever ever use that word beach again. Um, but yeah, that was that was funny. You know, we, we we had a laugh about that. Me and Roger, my good friend. And then after that, um, you know, um, we you know all two we came in late and we kind of fit in the team and um, you know it it, it was a shock in the sense that um, the weather alone, you know, you got two island boys. Um, I remember one day it snowed probably probably like a half, I mean, probably like six inches or so, or a foot of snow. And those nuns, we come to find out those nuns do not cancel classes for anything. But keeping in mind, you know, from the monastery, they, they walk straight to the building, they, they don't ever touch ground. So. Yeah. Um, but we thinking, oh my gosh, this game gonna be canceled. No way. They, I remember they played in that snow. I mean, we had us. To, there were a guy, the groundsman blowing. I remember blowing the lines off. The funny story is that me and uh, my friend Roger, uh, we had a car then. We, um, we stood in the car. The team was warming up, both teams was warming up in the snow. I mean, take us a good hour to dress, because we had on layers upon layers. We had, we put a sock, then we put a bag over that sock, then we put another sock, then we put bag. I mean, if you see us. Yeah. Um, I remember we, you know, Yankton, you can drive straight up to the field, the main one. And then we, while we were watching the team warming up, we were in the car, staying warm, and to the coach, yeah, yeah, we, we coming, we coming. And uh, as soon as the game was about to start, that's when we ran on the field. I mean, that was brutal. That was, I think it was uh, morning side, actually. And they beat us 2-1, to our Maxim team. I remember that, we called that occasion. Um, you know, it, it, it was a whole di you know, different um, environment. You know, um, 
the level of competition wasn't what we expected. Um, well, and probably they're, you know, coming from the island to Atlanta and then leapfrogging to South Dakota, there's probably some, not only some weather shock, but it's probably some culture shock going on as well. Definitely, definitely. Um, and, you know, but I must say that we were really well accepted. Um, the players, the professors, I mean, everybody, everybody um, really, like, take care of us. Um, you know, the coach, um, you know, I, I really cannot say anything bad about, um, you know, the treatment we got. Um, but again, it, it was just a matter of survive, surviving the weather. I mean, for us, the, the weather was, you know, the biggest, biggest factor. <laughs> you know, mind you, <clears throat> Atlanta, it, it doesn't really snow, but now they're getting a lot of snow now. Yeah. <clears throat> but back then, <clears throat> excuse me. It just get really cold. Never used to snow, and then come here, full blast of snow. I mean, it's like, oh boy. Um, anybody asks me, Clay, why your family don't come? Why your family don't come? I was like, <laughs> for the time they walk out of the plane, they're gonna drop. Boom! <laughs> so they're gonna drop. So that that's been uh, over ten years ago, and uh, you know, you seem though now to not be bothered at all by snow and cold weather. I mean, you're just like the rest of us. You complain about it a little bit, but it doesn't really slow you down or stop you. No, no, it doesn't. First, the, you know, um, when they start, you know, uh, the winter start coming like October, November, you know, that change um, atmosphere. But once, it, you know, the wind, um, you know, it can be cold. I don't be affected, but, you know, and I, and I learned my lesson, you know. Um, so after I, I finished and um, graduated in 04 from Mangnadi, um, I went to play for like two weeks or three in um, Brazil, okay, with the coach Charles and my buddy. And, and actually, it was the whole team we went down there. Um, and then when I came back, so that was the, the um, summer of 04, okay, when I came back, I came and played with the Split Fire. Okay, um, and I, will, I will come back to my winter story. I'm, I'm building it up. Um, so in 04, came back to Sioux Falls and played with the Sioux Falls Spitfire. It was like semi-pro team yeah. um, with TJ Ralph, some of those local guys now. And you know what is great about that team? We still play together. Now we are Sioux Falls 37. Now we get old, you know. Um, but no, and then. Um, in 04, um, the, the Mongmati coach, he had another job in Oregon, Coos Bay, um, South Oregon Community College, Southwestern. So after I finished um, playing with um, the Spitfire, he picked up the phone and he called me, he's like, Clay, you need a job? Well, you know, I just finished and I wasn't doing anything. And I was like, sure, you know, I can have an assistant position here for you. Jump on a plane, head down to Oregon now. Okay. So at this point, you're a player. Yep. Had you had any coaching licenses or gone to any coaching schools nope. or anything? Nope. Okay. Just college, um, playing professional and being around different coaches and stuff. Yeah. Um, mine, when I was in Georgia, I did a couple of camps. So in a way, you know, kids camp. Um, so... So I jump on a plane, head on to Oregon Coos Bay. So I stay there till um, we're in charge of the the men's program down there in Oregon. Um, stay there until um, the the spring of 05, the falling year. Then I came back to Sioux Falls and played with the Spitfire again. You know, the end of spring and the summer. So we're in 05 now, um, and then. Um, you know, back in Ofo, I met my wife then, Andrea, who I met. You know, we kept a long distance relationship. And a lot of people wouldn't say that's why I came back in 05. Because <laughs> she lives in Sioux Falls. Um, so in 05, I, I went back 
to Oregon. Okay? And then 06 came back to Sioux Falls. Um, this time I was more like an assistant coach with the Spitfire. Yeah. Was it no it wasn't Daniel. I think it was Daniel O'Hare and was yeah. coach then. And then um so I played with the Spitfire and after the Spitfire now, um that's when I, um, Janice Stegner, I remember, because she and Rich was, Jensen, Rich Jensen, mm-hmm. they were running the Spitfire then. And um, Janice asked me if I wanted to coach high school soccer. So in 06, that's when I started with Roosevelt JV team, Roosevelt Junior Varsity team. And you started on, on the girls' side there? Correct. Okay. And through that same year, I started the Coda Goal back then. So back to my winter story. Um, I remember going to, and that's why I met Brandon and Steve and some of those coaches and I'm called them was in Dakota Gold. I remember we you're went. T- you're talking about Barkas, of course, and Burkhalter. Yes, yep, okay. yep, yep, yeah. yep. Um, <clears throat> then we went to, uh, I remember we went to Minnesota, it was in April. It was 07 or so for a tournament. Uh, you know, I'm shadowing these guys because, you know, I want to impress them. You know, Brandon, I remember the short pants, and it was spring, I mean, and it snowed over overnight. I think it was just for girls' tournament, if I recall. And it snowed overnight. Well, we had the first game the following morning. It snowed on the ground. I didn't brought because you know it's springtime I was expecting it to snow <laughs> so I had no winter gear no big boots nothing and you see Brandon he's sitting down there he's fine and you know I want to play tough guy too and, and I'm out there too with my sneakers and, and Randy in the night I mean we were out there whole day yeah. because you know we had more than one teams and in the night I couldn't walk <laughs> I mean, I had frostbite. I mean, it was bad. It was bad. It was bad. I mean, that. Uh, I don't wish that upon anybody. Frostbite. Yeah. It's painful. It was painful. I, I remember. I um. I, I didn't came out that Sunday because that was a Saturday. I didn't came out that Sunday. I stayed in my hotel because I couldn't walk. And then Monday morning, I was. I came to the hospital and um, went and see a specialist for specialist and. Um, no, 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 um, no structural damage to my foot, was just some nerve damage. Um, you know, up to the day, my, my feet are very sensitive yeah. to the cold weather. So that was a, that was a great experience. Today, I, I always have a big boots in my car. Yeah, even in, I do too, even in the summer. I just oh, carry that stuff around with it, me. You know? it, then I come <laughs> my car. I, I, I'm prepared all the time now. I was like, because I figure out once I, once my fingers and my and my toes are warm, my breast and body going to be fine. Trial and error. Um, so that was in, you know, so after Janice, so I, I um, started Roosevelt in 06. Um, Dakota Gold in 06. Uh, and then that same year, I applied to be a personal trainer at Fitness 19. Okay, so. They were pretty new then, weren't they? First year. So yeah. I had three jobs right away in the fall. Coaching Roosevelt, Fitness 19, being a trainer at Fitness 19, and um, working with Dakota Gold. Yeah. And then the following year, in 07, um, um, Brandon Bacchus at Augustan, the women's head coach there, um, he had asked me to, if I want to be his assistant coach. Yeah. So on top of those three jobs, I'm now the assistant coach at Augustan. So let's, uh, let's hop back a little bit. <clears throat> and uh, then we'll kind of finish this segment out before you, we get you into Augustana and, and coaching the varsity girls at Roosevelt. But, you know, um, those early days in that Spitfire team must have been challenging but fun. I mean, you guys got around. You had a pretty tight group of guys together. 
you know, TJ had a tremendous college yes. career, just a scoring machine. And, and, you know, they had a lot of other young uh, guys who grew up in Sioux Falls yeah. on that team. But they had some other guys they brought in, uh, you know. B. We saw was a good friend of mine, yeah. Yeah, we saw, we saw some pretty good uh, soccer. And I, I uh, heard the other day BB's still playing a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But not as fast as he used to be. But um, I tell you what. I mean, we had guys from um, Yugoslavia, English guys. I mean, you, you talk. It kind of reminds me of my, my my team in Atlanta. I tell you, all those different yeah. foreign players, a lot of foreign players because um, they recruited from different colleges. I tell you what, it was probably one of my best experiences ever. Yeah. I mean, just different level of players, and I, I mean, it was great, and he had all the different languages and stuff, and. And early on, you know, they had, uh, you know, they always had the games at uh, uh, McEnany Field. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I remember we, we were down here uh, one summer, Connor was playing soccer out of Sioux Falls, and, you know, we'd go to all the games, and the stands were yeah. full of people. You know, they loved coming out and watching you guys. I know what, it was really exciting to see the kids out there. I mean, because, um, you know, we, we also did some camps. Um, Spitfire, uh, me and BB and um, another guy, we would travel to Yankton, Brookings, all those neighboring um, cities and do hell camp for them. Yeah. And we give her ball, t-shirts and stuff. I, I really personally enjoy that. I mean, giving back to those kids and I really, really enjoy that. And then seeing them come out to the games, the, the Saturday, the weekend, you know, uh, it was it was great. It was awesome. But and today, me and some of those guys still are friends. We still talk. Um, I got a lot of pictures home um, with those guys, and it, it was just a great, great, um, you know, years um, experience playing with the Spitfire. Yep. And again, we 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 still play. You know, we yeah. still play. You know, but we just love the game. Yeah. Well, we have got that uh, segment kind of cleared up and uh, we're going to come back here in a little bit and, and uh, move Clay into the phase of uh, coaching where he is uh, today and uh, and we're going to be able to probably process some of these uh, girls that you've had uh, at Roosevelt uh, who've gone on to do bigger and better things so we'll be right back with you with uh, Clay Glasgow. <laughs> 